Well, today we would like to take a look at this, uh, I think it's an excellent program, an uh, excellent enhancement to uh, the DCS world. It's called DCS Simple Radio Standalone by uh, Mr. Fisher. I recommend getting on uh, Google or YouTube and uh, take a look at it. So I'm just going to give a quick overview of what uh, DCS Simple Radios can do for you. So I got the program up and running and uh, what we're looking at here is uh, Hog 1, uh, the first A10 cockpit, and I have a uh, multiplayer enabled and this is the second aircraft. So that's uh, aircraft number one and this one over here represents uh, aircraft number two. So for this particular setup, we have a headphone plugged into the second computer and it runs along a particular cord. And we have just a basic iPhone playing an uh, iTunes uh, song here. So this is going to be our audio output from the second aircraft. So. So basically what we've done is at Craft One we have the radio set up where um, this is the AM radio, UHF radio, and the FM radio. Now, as you notice the UHF radio is set for encryption. So basically uh, we have it on encryption four and it's uh, powered on, it's in operating mode. And this is uh, the UHF radio encryption. And this one here would be the FM radio encrypted. This would be no encryption. But so we're going to put it on uh, UHF encryption. And we have the second aircraft set up the same way. It's encrypting the UHF on uh, encryption number four. So basically, one way to do a quick comms check is if you, the A-10 has three radios, so you have three push to talk uh, buttons. So basically if we match this forward, uh, let's see, so you can see that push to talk uh, for the uh, AM radio, and on the second aircraft, you can see the text turn white, meaning you have uh, uh, somebody that's talking to comms with you. So if we go for the second radio, same here, you can see the push to talk enabled, and you can see the text turn white on the second aircraft. The same for the third radio. You can see the push to talk enabled, and the text on your, uh, the other aircraft, you'll see that the text turn white. Now you don't need these text boxes. This is just for uh, uh, this demonstration purposes. But for example, let's go ahead and turn this one off. So let's go ahead and close that. Okay. So what we've done for this one, uh, I have a rubber band here that. If I press down the tension from the rubber band and hold the push to talk down. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll enable UHF radio. Now, uh, that's another thing with uh, DCS simple radios do. It gives you an extra audio channel. So normally, you have your environmental speakers. So if I turn the environmental up, you have the engine sound coming over your surround speakers. But the radio on the headset is a different channel. So the radio on the headset is a different channel. We'll go ahead and turn the environmental sounds down. And now you can hear, we can hear the audio coming from the second aircraft. 
And the reason we hear the audio is because the radios are tuned to the same frequency. So this one is transmitting on the UHF frequency 251. So if we, for example, uh, I'm a mistune this radio here. And the audio cuts out because the radios are now not tuned on the same frequency. So I'm going to turn the frequency back. I don't remember which one I turned. But no, it was that. Okay, there it is. Oh no, it's not that one. I think it's this one. Okay. So now we're back in the same frequency and the audio comes through the headset again. As you can hear it. And you can tell that the audio is separate from the rest of your environmental sounds. So if we turn those up a little bit, um, that's separate from the headset sounds. I'm going to turn the environmentals back down on that one. Now you can select where the sound comes in at. You can have the uh, audio from DCS Simple Radio come over your environmental speakers or you can have it come over the headsets. And as an example, for the second aircraft, I have the sound coming through the desktop speakers instead of the headset that's outside. So for an example, I'm going to go ahead and talk to the second aircraft. So I'm going to grab, uh, grab our headsets here and I'm going to step over and see if I can go ahead and talk on Radio 1. So you can see over here, comms check, comms check, radio check, radio check, comms check. Well, I'm not sure if you can hear the second speaker. So let me leave the phone over here and perhaps you can hear the uh, speaker when the uh, transmission is blocked. Comms check, comms check, radio check, radio check, radio check. So, you can hear the audio simultaneously from the aircraft one transmitting and the aircraft two transmitting at the same time. You can hear both audio streams. Now, for example, what else you can do with it is the audio is coming through because we are on the same encryption. But if you have your uh, KY-58, if you turn it off, which we'll go ahead and do. All you hear now is just white noise because you've turned off the encryption. But if we turn it back on, The audio comes back. Or same for the channel number. Uh, he's transmitting on number four, but if you turn it to like say encryption number three, might be a little bit of delay here. Okay, there it goes. Okay, yeah, so there's no audio, and if you turn it back to four, it should kick in. Here it is. Same for uh, your radio select. If I turn it to plain, that means no encryption, and audio goes out. Or if I select the wrong radio, uh, FM radio. It's not working because the other guy's transmitting on the UHF radio. So if we turn it back to UHF. We get our audio again. And uh, this principle works for, like I said, all three radios. Right now we're just transmitting on uh, the UHF. But the same for the AM and the FM radio. 
So that's kind of basically it. That's one reason I like uh, DCS Simple Radio. It's the ability to separate the environmental sounds from your headset sounds. So you can have your audio coming in on your headphones, and at the same time, you can have your environmental speakers having a separate audio channel. So, again, that's 